Hey, what's up? And welcome to another Subarus preview. This time we're going to talk about Oregon and Boise State, one of the bigger games of week two. I'm Max Millington, joined by Bobby Howard, as always, for your Oregon coverage. And uh, we're in Super. This is a really, really going to be a really good game. I think, especially coming off of the performance that Oregon uh, put up against Idaho, which was a win, but not as impressive of a win as you might have thought. And Boise State is expected to be the Group of Five team to come out and uh, be in the college fo- be in the college football playoff. Excuse me. So this is a very intriguing early season matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is definitely a G5, or I don't know what we're even calling it these days, <laughs> uh, non-Power 4 opponent that uh, is pretty tricky uh, for Oregon. And, you know, look, the Ducks did not do so hot uh, against the last uh, team from Idaho they played, and here they go uh, getting a way tougher one. So uh, Boise presents a lot of challenges that, um, you know, I, I'm I'm very interested to see how the Ducks uh, handle. I think the biggest... Um, my the the biggest card that Boise State is going to be able to play in this game is um their running back Ashton Genty, who uh if you're paying attention to the draft the NFL draft guys this early in the process uh a lot of folks have him as RB one um in, in the uh, for the NFL draft, it's either him or Ali Gordon or Amari Amari Hampton out of UNC. So, um, Ashton Genty, uh, you know, I think six touchdowns against Georgia. Southern. Yeah, very impressive start to the, to the college football season. How confident are you that the Ducks are going to be able to, um, you know? control the the Boise State run game. Yeah, I mean Ash, Ashton Jonti is an absolute beast. Uh if you if you if, well one, if you were somehow watching uh you know Boise and Georgia Southern last week, you definitely saw that with the 267 yards, six touchdowns, including a long of 77 last week. Um he's an absolute beast. Does it you know, does it all. Uh but if you've played as him in the uh, new uh, the new EA Sports College football game, you know he's damn good there too. So, um, you know, Jaunty, you know, this is Boise's a tricky team because they, I don't want to call them fully one dimensional. You know, a lot of people expected uh, USC transfer. Um, geez, I'm blanking on his name already. Uh, Malachi Nelson to, you know, really take that position. Uh, him not getting it you know, kind of raise some red flags, you know, no offense to Maddox Magson, but this is a team that's going to run the ball quite a bit. Um, thankfully for the ducks, you know, they're a pretty solid defensive unit, you know, this, that's the bread and butter of Oregon. So going to be a bit of a difficult challenge there to say the least, um, you know, for Boise state to really run the ball. Um, but I think the ducks are well-equipped, you know, really well-equipped on the defensive line as well. Like, to slow him down. Uh, I don't think he's going to run rough shot on him, but you know, this is going to be a very, very tough challenge for Oregon to uh, contain this guy. Yeah, it's going to be a tough challenge, but I agree with you. I think the Oregon D line is up to the challenge. If you're Oregon, I think you feel confident. If you, again, tough game against Idaho, but you only held them to 49 rushing yards. So that's where you can kind of hang your hat. Like at least there's, we have a strength on strength matchup here. Our D line, we know that we were able to shut down this, this running game of Idaho. Um, we, we know we have the personnel to be able to control what they do best. And that's run the football. And I think what you're also is going to be key. If your organ is creating turnovers and making sure that you get stops on, on third down, like that's going to be, very critical because you don't want a team like Boise State to be able to hang around, run the ball more, take up more clock. Like that's the last thing you you um you want to do in this situation. I mm-hmm. think with um if you're going back to again the Idaho game, they did very well on third down. Idaho was only two for twelve on third down, zero for one on fourth. So like the things that Oregon did well you can carry over to the next game. I think what'll be interesting for Oregon to maybe 
to see what they might do differently or try to do differently at least uh, is with the pass game. And we know Dylan Gabriel's numbers were outstanding, but we talked about it in the recap. A lot of people were um, kind of mystified about how little they seem to throw down the field. And um, this might be a game if you're Oregon in which we see that open up a little bit more, but then again, I don't know, because as you talked about in the recap, like Dylan Gabriel is sort of a check down merchant, <laughs> you know, so to speak. So well, like, uh, that's, that's going to be the thing that I'm looking for is if they throw down the field a little bit more. Yeah. The ducks are going to have to air it out a little bit more. They're going to have to open up that offense a bit. Um, and Dylan Gabriel is going to have to, you know, kind of take a little bit more risks. Um, and we've seen him do it. We've seen him have situations where he's a little too conservative one game and then the next he airs it out. So, you know, I, I expect to see that, um, that happen. Um, yeah. Boise's defense isn't exactly great. You know, um, as you could see from that box score last week, it was a very high scoring, uh, perform like performance by Georgia Southern. So you can get points up on Boise state for sure. Um, but look, if, if Oregon tightens a couple things up, uh, you know, reduces some of the mistakes they made, you know, a couple penalties that coming at the wrong time, you know, boost your third down efficiency, you know, last time out, I believe it was something like seven for 16 from, you know, on third down, you know, they had two, four and outs, you know, it, if the ducks can clean that up, take advantage of their opportunities. I, I think they can do a lot of great things on offense against Boise. Well, my bookie.ag has the spread at 18 and a half in favor of Oregon. Over under is uh, 60 and a half um, or 61 and a half, excuse me. And, you know, this is a home game for Oregon. It's at Autzen. Um, This is going to be a night game. Most people on the East Coast will be asleep when this game is on because the start is 7 p.m. Pacific time. <laughs> so, you know, if you're on the East Coast and you're, you know, a, a fanatic, you're going to be up for this one somehow. Uh, but this is a going to be a late kick. So I think this will be interesting because Oregon, the pressure is on them, I feel like, to to play a little bit better. But I think it's they, for them, playing a game this late at night when they know you know, most folks probably won't be tuning in. It's also on Peacock, which means like the viewership is going to shrink, shrink a little bit. And this is just going to be about like, you know, the, the home crowd is going to come with a lot of energy. They're going to be focused on, you know, a, kind of a bounce back. You know, you, you get a chance to just lock in and play some good football. I feel like the number is not bad. Like the the spread is not bad to me. Like eighteen and a half, um, I think Oregon's gonna gonna. I I feel good about Oregon covering that. And Boise yeah, State, Maxwell, go yeah. ahead. What you're saying? No, Boise State's a good team. I think it's a big mm-hmm. number for you know a, a good team going against another good team. But I, I like Oregon to cover. I you know I'm with you as well. You know, look, you can kill the Pac-12, but you can't kill Pac-12 after dark, which is basically what we got here going on on Peacock. Um, and look, for the Ducks, you know, you you want to make Maddox Madsen, Boise State's quarterback, you want to make him beat you. you, you you've, you've got to lock down the running game, make them one-dimensional, and I think they can, and I think they will. Uh, I think the Ducks... You know, you saw it in Dan Lanning's presser, you know, after that Idaho win. Uh, they were not happy about how they performed last week. I think they've come, come out strong, uh, get a solid performance. And, you know, eight, 18 and a half feels, feels very doable for me. And I think that's, I think they cover. Um, I think Otson, you know, this is a game that, you know, uh, very, very memorable um, home and home back in the early 2010s, I believe, you know, that very famous game where, you know, there were a couple fists flying at the end of the game, you know, like Garrett Blunt, I believe, you know, smacking a dude in the head. So, you know, um, the, it's obviously, it's not a rivalry, but, you know, not a, there's a little bit of bad blood between these two programs uh, for those who remember it from back in the day. So I think it'll be a good atmosphere. I think um, Oregon's going to come to play and I think they cover. 
we weren't able to find the uh, props line for rushing yards for Alvin Gentry. Uh, we're, Bobby and I were both looking at, looking for it before this preview, but uh, Gianti, not you know, Alvin Gentry, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh God, <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so sorry. Uh, not the uh, formal NBA head coach Alvin Gentry, Ashton Gentry. That their names are very similar. That is crazy. It's all good. <laughs> uh, that is absolutely insane. I can't believe I made that mistake. Uh, okay. Uh, for Ashton Gentry, we don't know his prop. I think I I feel like Vegas might goose it up for like the casual fan that thinks he's gonna like explode. So depending on what it is, I'm inclined to feel like a good if I were to assign a best bet to this game. I'm inclined to take to maybe take the under on um on the rushing yards for him. Depend again, depending on the number, I don't know what it is yet. Uh, but what about you? What do you think a good? Well, I hate to uh, you know hate to kind of ride with you there, but I'm I'm with you. You know, I I think I think anything involving rushing yard total, you know, going going low is 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 kind of the right move. Um, just given that I think Dan Lanning and Oregon are going to do a great job, you know, preparing to stop this guy. Um, so, you know, I, I think that's, that's a good one. Um, what's the total on this game right now? What are we looking uh, at? Look you know, I don't hate the under under. I don't hate, I don't, I don't hate the under there. I, I think the ducks offense will get out and score a bit, but I can see this game being choppy, you know, a little bit slower paced, you know, um, especially on the Boise side. Um, Cause when you, uh, when you get down and you're a running team, you know, kind of hard to come back, <laughs> you know, you can't kind of hard, hard to come back. Uh, and, you know, in, in, in an expeditious fashion. So, you know, I, I think, I think, I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to trend. Uh, I'm going to go with the under on this one. All right. Well, that is the preview of Boise State and Oregon. This game, once again, is at Autzen, 7 p.m. kick on Peacock. Uh, we'll see you for the recap. Football season is here. Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets. And our friends at MyBookie want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah, and coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that Sleepers Media places all bets. I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st to be exact, my bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code sleepers, that's promo code sleepers, you can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to $1,000 over at my bookie. Use promo code sleepers and happy betting. Home dogs aren't dogs, they're wolves. Arr I'm trying to flip that into like sport, like home sports books aren't books, they're novels. We'll work on it. That didn't work. Go my bookie promo code sleepers.